I am making this video for anyone out there who is new to this whole DNA test thing. So here's what I want you to consider. Here's what I suggest and encourage that you do. If you are the only person in your family who has taken one, I highly recommend you convince other family members to take them as well because you are going to learn a lot more about yourself and your own family when you do so. I want to give you a prime example of this. So my mother's parents, they were both first generation Americans. Her father's family came from Italy and her mother's family came from Mexico. So what was interesting is I was the first in my family to take a DNA test. And in theory, I should have been about 25% Italian because both of my great grandparents on that side came from Italy. So for example, my maternal grandfather, his parents were not born here. They were born in Italy. They were Italian, but yet I showed 0% Italian DNA. And even when my mom eventually took a test, she only showed, I think it was like four and a half percent. And instead what she saw was 15.2% Sephardic Jewish, which is sort of like Spanish Jewish, and then was a 14.1% West Asian, which we're recognizing as Iran, Iraq, and Turkey, more Middle Eastern countries is the way Americans would perceive that. And so it's one of those things where it was very strange when I took my test because how could I not be any Italian? Well, it turns out, the, and this is my interpretation, the answer was that my mother showing that Spanish Jewish, Sephardic Jewish, and the Middle Eastern especially between differences in genders, like with my mother having the female DNA and me having the male DNA, it can basically hide under different versions of itself. So what showed up on my test was Spanish. I showed up nearly a third Spanish and I showed up a little over 20% Native American. I actually scored higher on those parts than my own mother did, even though all that DNA was from her. But in her coding, especially the Spanish, the Iberian, was showing up as the Middle Eastern and the Jewish. So you learn so much more. You can understand a better perspective of your own DNA when you get more people in your family to take theirs. So fortunately for me, all, all four members of my immediate family have taken those. So it is great to take a DNA test, but it almost, in some ways, depending on your test results, can actually cause you to ask more questions than you can actually get answers. So if you've taken a DNA test and you haven't had other people in your family do that, at this point, just beg as many people as you can. Actually, currently right now, I just saw an ad, MyHeritage, where I got my test, I think is doing like $59. They're doing that through February 4th. Valentine's special. They're all, I went through them just because they were cheapest. I got them when it was like $69. They tend to be the lowest. And for me, they've confirmed everything that I knew to be true and then some. So they're my personal favorite, not saying that you should definitely do that one, but uh, that's who I go through. And a lot of the content from these videos is based off of my test and family members that have taken that. Got any questions? Leave them right here in the comments.